hello, 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 hello. My name is Jonathan Christian, and we're here at the number 11 Hanabin Cooper Street. This is our family house. Uh, this place was once the home of the late Reverend William H. Christian and Reverend Miguel Alice Christian. They are both my grandfather and my grandfather and they have passed away now, unfortunately. But however, today we're here to talk about this location, not, not my family, and how this place is going to be transformed into the Jonathan Christian Cultural Arts Center. Yes, my name is Jonathan Christian, but this place is not named after me. It's named after my late uncle, which, is, which was one of the sons of um, my grandfather and my grandmother. And it was one of his dreams that he wanted to achieve before he passed away, unfortunately. And today I'm going to take you around the current location, how the place is looking right now, and just give you a glimpse of what's about to come and what are the plans for this culture art center, which is going to embody a whole lot for this community. For this. And right now, at the moment, I can tell you that there is no cultural art center in this country. That's what we're trying to achieve. This place is going to have a printing press, a pharmacy, you name it, and an industrial kitchen, a bookstore component, a space where we exhibit traditional cultural arts, and so much more. Let me take you around the location and you see what I'm doing. first um, section that I'm going to show you this uh, this used to be the parlor I remember this used to be the parlor and this used to be the dining room this is still the dining room though <laughs> as you can see but guess what we're planning to transform here the idea is to transform here into a space where that can be used as an art gallery an art gallery that will serve not only for Af African culture but for all cultures you know, at the end of the day, Sierra Leone is a tourist spot and Brookfield is a very, very big community. And I think it will be very, very smart if we have an art gallery wherein we can exhibit and showcase African masks, African sculptures, different historical figures, figures that have meaning to our culture and also global culture. Why not? We need to have masks and sculptures and different um, items that will serve as a point of reference for other cultures, which will serve as a way when this art gallery will be a meeting point for African culture as well as global culture. Brazilians, Peruvians should come to Sierra Leone and see something that represents them. That's the idea. And I believe that this space, if you can take a look around, this space is huge enough to embody that. Okay, so yeah, and guess what? My grandma is here. She's overseeing me right now. <laughs> she supervised me. This is the uh, very good, good portrait of the late Reverend Muriel, Muriel Alice Ayodele Fitzjohn. Amazing. Rest in peace. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to the other rooms and let you just see what it's all about here. This is the first room upstairs here. Let me just show you. Uh, you see, this is small, intact, but it could serve very well as a, a little bookstore component when, of course, we'll have different type of books. Historical books, books about the world, books about Africa, books about Sierra Leone, books about our history, books about our culture, books about our food, you know, a lot. And um, this is another room. This is a little bit more spacious and I believe this, this could serve as a printing press section because you can't have a cultural art center and you don't have a printing press section. And that, that's, that's, one thing, that's one of the components that we're going to have to embody the whole idea of this complex. So you see it's spacious. I wouldn't say it's huge, I would say it's spacious. <laughs> So let me take you around. There's another room here, it's locked right now, but it could serve as the tailoring boutique. The tailoring uh, section as well as the boutique where, of course, we would have good looking, good looking, good looking African attires. Very modern, but also at the same time, sends the perfect message about who we are and where we come from. Okay. 
This is another special section. This could serve as the pharmacy. We need to have a pharmacy in the cultural arts center because health is wealth and that is something we stand by. We believe in that and we have to make sure that we have a pharmacy for the book food community, one that has everything that they need no matter the emergency. This is the biggest room upstairs. It's a master bedroom right now. And as you can see, it's so huge. This is what I would say is huge if we're doing a comparative analysis with the other rooms. And this could serve as a gym. You know, this could serve as a gym because you need to have a pharmacy that serves for health, but then fitness is part of health. So we're trying to see how best we could also have a gym in the whole idea and see how best we can ensure that it happens. It, it, we need to have a gym, a pharmacy, a tailoring and boutique section, as well as a book component. And like I said earlier, the space in the parlor would serve as an art gallery where we we'll exhibit African culture as global culture through the sculptures, the masks, and different figures that will be up for exhibition. Okay? This is the kitchen at the moment. This has been the kitchen for the Fitzgerald family for a very long time. The kitchen. But this place is going to be transformed as per my auntie's idea at the KT. This place is going to be transformed into an industrial kitchen. An industrial kitchen is one where we have professional chefs. Professional chefs will be making the food and they will be serving throughout our opening and closing hours. So this means whether you come here for printing or you came here to sew something at the tailoring section or you came here to purchase something at the boutique section or at the bookstore component or you just came here to enjoy the arts that will be exhibited in the arts gallery or you came here at the gym and then after gym you want to have some meal and some drinks guess what we're gonna have the perfect industrial kitchen to serve our customers no matter the quantity as long as they're here we'll be able to render our services when it comes to food and when it comes to drinks and this place is going to serve african food intercontinental food so that means we would embody everything when it comes to food as well as we'll be doing with our arts and our book section and at, at the parade and at the art and, and at the pharmacy and at the gym everything here is to serve our customers and this place is going to be transformed big time So now we're at the backyard and this part is the only part of the compound that has never been infrastructurally developed. But this time around, due to the cultural arts center idea and how we plan to bring it into reality, this is the section that's going to serve as a place where events can be hosted in the whole complex. We're gonna, the idea is to have a, a, a barrier at the center and then we're going to have buffers around. We're going to have benches around also 
and this place is going to be well designed to give us that historic Serenian feel. You know, where we have the barre and then we have the buffers and the different huts on the, on the left and the right side of this land. We're going to have an artistic walkway that's going to be well designed, who knows, with pebbles, with shells, that's up to the designers. But at the end of the day, this place is going to be very colorful, it's going to be very artistic, and it's going to be the section where people will also come for breakfast, lunch, and dinner that are going to be served from our industrial kitchen. Sit here, relax, have the privacy, but at the same time, feel like they're in a place where they have a touch of elegance around them at all times. So this is a place where that's going to take place and also for people who want to have the events, who knows, like a small party for 50 people, it could be a get together, it could be an anniversary celebration. This is the perfect place for that. Just wait and see after it's going to be developed and you're going to get the full picture. But for now, I just wanted to show you the land and for you to see the potential that, that is here and how this place is going to be transformed into that section where we're going to have the buffers, benches, the barre, the huts, the artistic feel, the colorful torch, and all that. This is the parking lot for the Freetown Secondary School for Girls, FSSG. However, the plan is to use this parking lot for the Jonathan Fitzjohn Cultural Arts Center, which is just a walking distance away from the center. Take a look around. As you can see, the parking lot can take up to 50 cars and more. So this means that our customers and our visitors taking their way to the Cultural Arts Center will not have an issue of parking, even though the Hannah Mecca Crocker Street is somewhat small and does not have little or no amount of space for parking. That's why we are partnering with the Freetown Secondary School for Girls to see how best we can use their parking lot as the parking lot for the Cultural Arts Center, thereby providing safety and conveniency for all our visitors and customers throughout our working hours. I must mention that the late Reverend Muriel Alice Fitzjohn was once a long time member of the Board of Trustees for the FSSG School. This means that there's a historical connection between the Fitzjohn family, the FSSG, and the yet to be developed cultural arts center. Okay, so I hope you guys have seen around and you've seen everything that I've been showing you as I took you around the whole complex and its current situation and its current look. And through that, I hope you have seen the potential that is in this project. The Jonathan Fitzgerald Cultural Arts Center would be one to reckon with the whole Sierra as well as the Brookfields community. The idea is to bring a complex that embodies everything that is needed for this community and for the city as a whole. It should be a place that everybody comes to from all around the country and all around the world and have a taste of African culture as well as global culture. And this should be a place that should serve the community and give back to the community. And that is the plan. And I hope that investors have seen the potential in here and will make a right decision to invest in this project. Thank you for your time.